March is Women's History Month. What does women's history mean to me? I'm going to talk about that coming up. When you think about women's history, you have to think about the people that have influenced you in your career that just happen to be women. You know, for me, it's like someone like uh, Mary Shelley, who was the pioneer, the creator of what is known as modern day science fiction, or Ida B. Wells, who is a huge proponent through her active editorials and journalism to really bring light on the plight of African Americans in her situations through the travels that she had. Or thinking about the filmmakers that I've always looked up to, like Amy Heckerling, and most recently, like Chloe Zhao and Greta Gerwig. But another one that hits most close to home are both of my grandmothers, on both my mom and my dad's side. They had a huge impact on me, both entrepreneurially and community-based. I mean, my grandmother on my mom's side, I always referred to her as Grandma Goki. She was somebody I saw for a little while who owned her own place, was, owned a popular place, a coffee shop that was open from 5 a.m. till 2 p.m. And before she had some health issues, it was, like I said, that was what she did day in, day out. Uh, my mom grew up in that coffee shop and, and so on. She was the closest thing I had to an entrepreneur at that point, even though she had to close when I was uh, very young. But I remember it. I remember going in there, and that was very, very formative for me. And my dad's mom, they would refer to her as Grandma Schmidt. She was like one of those renaissance people that they talk about. There wasn't something that she couldn't do. She was a painter. She sewed. She, she was a teacher of both science and English. So arts and sciences, as well as she was just always helpful. She was a good baker. She was an amazing, amazing woman that, in fact, I don't know anybody else. And this is uh, something that I can toot my own horn at, is that I don't know anybody else's grandma who was in Life magazine when Life Magazine was still around. I remember that article they had and what it was about was about her teaching senior citizens how to use a computer. Back in the early 80s, this is when this thing, this article came out. So just looking back at uh, who has influenced me, uh, both personally and professionally, as well as the folks that I'm around all the time, seeing who they are and where they stand, such as I've already highlighted this month Melina Brand and Lizney Tate, who, you know, made history by helping push forward legislation to fight period poverty. And there's a ton of organizations and businesses I've been involved with and people that I have been working with that has really have really influenced me and they've all been either women led, women organized, or women founded. And it's just amazing that I have this opportunity to work with such wonderful people in those regards or have been really influenced in a lot of the decisions that I've made or know that I can lean on those folks for the guidance that they've given me to this point. So that's what women's history means to me, both the historical sense as well as the present, which informs my future. And in a nutshell, that's what Women's History Month means to us here at Introduce Multimedia. And as you can tell, we really look for those stories because there's always another story to tell. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on the social media, follow us through our email newsletter. See you next time.